Hello, my name is Paul Nguyen and I'm a product manager at JumpCloud. Today I'd like to show you System Insights, our new product offering, and how to access the data using the PowerShell module. System Insights provides asset, security, and configuration data across your fleet of macOS, Windows, and Linux machines. To start off, you'll want to log into the admin console and go to the Settings tab to enable System Insights for your organization. Once you enable System Insights, then you'll navigate over to the Systems tab to turn on System Insights for each system in your organization. You can do this individually by clicking on a system and go to the Settings section to enable System Insights and click Save. You also have the option to bulk enable System Insights for multiple machines at the same time by selecting the systems that you want to enable, clicking the More Actions toggle here and enabling System Insights. Currently we support 64-bit machines and the moment that you turn on System Insights, that data is immediately pushed over to Jump Cloud and accessible via the Jump Cloud API. At our Jump Cloud API documentations at docs.jumpcloud.com, you can view information about all the endpoints for System Insights. We have a variety of information on software such as applications and programs installed across your entire fleet of systems, um, browser extensions for Safari, Firefox, and Chrome. Uh, we also have uh, information about users and groups created locally across all the machines. And we also have hardware information such as information on CPU, memory, storage, uh, make and model and vendor uh, for each one of your machines for asset management. Today we're going to be uh, showing how to use the PowerShell module to access the System Insights information. And we have um, a great documentation that shows how to install the PowerShell module and get you started. I won't be going over that today, uh, but definitely look at our, our documentation to get the PowerShell module installed on your machine. In our documentation, there is a section for examples for System Insights, and this will give you all the information you need to get started to query information about um, your uh, fleet of computers. So to start off, we'll go to the terminal here on my Mac and we'll start the PowerShell interface. So to do that, you'll want to type in PWSH and then you'll want to use the connect-jc online command to authenticate to the Jump Cloud API. This is going to ask you for your Jump Cloud API key, which can be found in the admin console. Click on your name in the top right corner and go to API settings, and here you can find your API key. So we'll paste that in. So once you're authenticated, the next step is to start querying the API. So we'll go back to the PowerShell documentation here and grab this key uh, command. So git jc system insights dash table. This command is what you'll use to connect to any one of the Jump Cloud endpoints. So to start off with, we'll pull back or output some system information. So system underscore info. And this will gather some basic uh, system inf insights information about each one of your, your machines. So here I have um, my Mac computer, my Ubuntu computer, and my Windows computer. Um, as you can see here, it has some basic information such as host name, CPU type, physical memory, hardware, vendor, make and model, serial numbers, and computer name. System Insights uh, can be extremely helpful if you're trying to um, understand uh, applications uh, that are installed across your fleet. Uh, so we can um, query all the applications on Mac computers by querying the apps table. So here this will output all the applications installed in the applications folder for your Mac system. And as you can see here, this provides information on the name, the version uh, for that application, uh, some various other information, as well as the last time that particular application was open. So here this, this is a great use case for being able to 
query an app, a specific application version that may have been reported uh, with a security vulnerability. So you would, would be able to use PowerShell module to search for a specific application. If you wanted to view the applications for a Windows computer, you would look at the programs table. So here's the programs table uh, for the Windows computers, and, and you can see here all the applications or programs that are installed on the Windows machine. If you wanted to look for a specific application, um, you can use uh, the where-object command to pass in the condition that you're looking for. So here we're going to look at name. Um, we'll do a wildcard operator like, and we'll say Chrome. And here you can see we found our Chrome uh, application installed on our Windows computer and the specific version you're looking for. So System Insights provides a lot of options to be able to query information across uh, your fleet of systems. You also have the ability to export this information as well. So again, you can use this uh, command and you can pass in the uh, export-csv uh, to, to create a CSV file uh, for this information. Export-csv, and we'll call it um, applications.csv. And this will basically um, export this information locally uh, so that you can uh, compare uh, your application list to uh, a whitelist uh, that you might have uh, for your organization. So again, thank you for joining us today for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or would like more information about System Insights, please reach out to your customer success team or visit us at jumpcloud.com. Thank you.